All right, folks, to start, since we're messing with the clutch, first thing is to press the parking brake. Make sure something other than the transmission is holding it in. Because if you're playing with the clutch, you can take it out of gear, it'll roll forward. Highly negative outcome. So, with that, we'll get started. To make things easier to get the master slave assembly out, we first remove the battery. We disconnected the wiring harnesses going to the brake booster and then we pulled it out. Now one of the challenges we did have was one of the videos we looked at showed the slave cylinder being pushed between the cab and the frame rail. That is not the case. You keep the slave cylinder on the inboard side of the frame rail and just slide everything up and it will come out believe it or not it will come right out that hole this assembly was rather simple on the inside you remove the knee plate you take a very you take a flathead screwdriver and pry this up came out very simple but then you have to be a contortionist to get down in here, as of anything having to do with this. And you can see the open hole now, through which everything is. Now, the bolts came off fairly simply. It was just a very simple... Came out very simply. This is just a simple 15 millimeter, uh, and let's see the other one is still hung up in here. Okay, because that came off of the assembly. Let me grab it out of here. But now the now the hopeful thing is, hopefully the new one will come with new studs. If it doesn't, well, <laughs> this is the back of the truck, gang. <laughs> but we're working on the front of the truck. Again, this truck is a 2500 Ram, and it is a 2003 vintage. There are two different types of mounting. This mounting does not work. This is what the original mounting looks like. As you can see, this is the part that goes into the transmission. As you can see, this is the part that goes in the transmission. It's not a clip. It's a two bolt. And once you figure out how to get it out, it is quite it is quite simple. So we're going to head back to the auto parts store and get one that matches. So just remember there are two types. Well, Okay, well we got the, the new part, and the question is, does it match up? And yes, it does match up. Does it match up? Okay, we have a winner. Now let's get it ready to install. First order of business is going to be to get this bad boy off. Get this off. You push in and slide, and then everything should come right off. And then this just comes off like that. And voila, there is your switch. See, switch. See, retainer. Leaking cylinder. Not really good. So, we got the old one. Take the 
the old one. Put it here. Always want to make sure you've got all your, yeah, make sure you got all your parts in the right order or you can make a mess. Take this. Put it in. That works. Go like that. Super ambidextrous. Yeah. Yeah, good to go. Now this is good to be reassembled into the cylinder. All right. Let's see if we can get this done correctly. This is a one-time deal, so don't try to take it out after this. Okay, now it's in. Now let's go to the truck. And let's see if we can get this in. Dodge likes putting big things in little holes. So we got to fit old, fit old homie down in here. See? It has to go toward and then down. And then. And then just continue to feed it down on the end. Hold up. Coming through the uh, wheel well. We got it. Oh, look! It's going in! What a miracle! Any more slack? Got any more slack up there? Oh, yeah, we got plenty. Now, you gotta watch out for these, air, these lines through here. Why don't you take up some slack, buddy? Studs lined up. Stud form here. Oh man, that felt real good. It slid right in. Alright, so now we go around to the other side and we'll tighten this. Did you finger tighten those down on the bottom? Yep. Alright. So with the stuff finger tightened finger tight on the bottom, we now come in here to our to the contortionist job. And then we gotta get up in there. All right. And see how it's gonna do. Yep. Now, if I can get. So, I've got it in. And these nuts are just finger tight. Because if I do any more, I'm going to have to start preloading. I don't want to do that yet. Get that little, get that little monster in there. Get that clip aligned. Get that bolt squared away. And then, I don't know if you can see him up there. I don't know if you can see him up there. Get that old bugger squared away. And once that's in, and you get the bushing that holds this in place. Okay, once we got the pin in, we've gone ahead and replaced the kick plate. We got, we got the pin in to hold the clutch in place, connect it all to the master cylinder, put the knee, knee plate back in, and we're about ready to start the truck. Okay, we're going to fester put the battery back in, get the electrical wall cook, hooked up, and then we'll see if we did it right. Fester, get on it.
Just keep it all tucked away until you get it in there. One part about doing your job right is always making sure you clean up after yourself. Whether it's grease on the kneeboard or whatever, you always want to leave a clean product. Okay, Fester's got everything ready to go. He's got all the electrical connections made. Now he just has to put the ground together and make the circuit hot.